The reason the share market went up again today was that the People's Bank of China cut interest rates, which boosted the iron ore price. And that led to solid gains in the share prices of Australia's listed iron ore miners, BHP, Rio, Tinto and Fortescue. But there was one nasty prang. Domino's Pizza was sliced 30% after a trading update that said December half earnings would be less than last year because of falling sales in parts of Asia and Europe, especially Japan. Now, the strength of the iron ore price after that Chinese rate cut is in the context of rising commodity prices generally caused by a tax on the shipping in the Red Sea. Iron ore is actually the commodity least affected by this, although more than 10% of the steel trade is being disrupted. But the biggest impact is on fertiliser. The US market also had its fifth rise in a row last night and share prices in Shanghai and Hong Kong responded to the rate cut with solid gains and the Aussie dollar was steady against all major currencies. Finally, here's a chart that explains the change to the stage three tax cuts. Now, the vertical axis is percentage of income. Horizontal axis is salary, ranging up to $200,000. The blue line shows how the tax cuts were going to be distributed before today's changes. The more you earned, the more you got. The orange line shows the new distribution. Now, for those on salaries above $60,000 a year, it's basically the same for all. And those earning less than 45000 now get a tax cut where they wouldn't have before. And that's finance.